Okay, Lesson 38, Part 1 is Common Core Standard 6EE2C, Evaluate Expressions with Specific Variables. I call this plug-and-play math, and I'll show you what I mean later. I kind of like this math. This, um, this math is fun for me because it's something that at first looks like, oh no, this is difficult, and then once you realize what you're doing, it's like, are they kidding you? Kidding me? This is so easy. So um, go ahead and get the title in there and we'll get started. Okay, so before we begin, really important that for this skill you remember your order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, you got really good at that um, as we were working through um, all the pieces of Lesson 36, and so we just need to keep those fresh in our mind. And so here's our first we do. The, we need to find the answer for x subtract 3, or 3 less than x, or x minus 3. We need to find that answer for that. And right now you're going, oh, no, Ms. Sanchez, I can't do that right now. How do I find, how do I know? You, you can't right now. But here's the deal with this lesson. You get a secret. All right, so here's your secret. Psst, by the way, you're going to do that if x equals 5. Okay, now solve it. So at this point, now that you have the secret over here, dun, 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 um, then you're going to go ahead and plug it in. So, okay, we're going to do x minus 3, but pst, x equals 5. Okay, so I'm going to plug in 5 for x. Now I know what x is. It's not a mystery anymore. Plug it in. Play the math. 5 subtract 3 is 2. Bum, 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 bum. That's it. So I know you're saying, oh my gosh, Mrs. Sanchez, that can't be that easy, can it? Oh, yes, it can. Let's look at another one. Let's kick it up just a tiny bit more. We have 3x plus 2, Psst, if x equals 4. So we're going to plug in 4. Now, remember, in the previous lesson, I, I said if there's a number next to a letter, there's multiply in there. Now, the common mistake I see is people will go, oh, that's 34, 3 and then 4, 34. No, 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 don't do that. Um, and in order to keep yourself from making that mistake, Maybe every time you see the term with a number and a letter right next to it, go ahead and put the little multiplied dot in there, and then you won't make that common mistake. Then you'll make sure to not make that common mistake. So put the dot there, then you're good. So now let's plug and play. Is 3 times pst, x equals 4 plus 2. And now I must use my order of operations. There are no parentheses. There are no exponents. Multiply is next. 3 times 4 is 12. Cross off what you did, bring down what you didn't. 12 plus 2 is 14. There's your answer. So easy, right? Let's do another we do. Okay, kicked it up just a tiny bit more. We have b to the second power, or b squared, plus 5, minus 3. So the sum of b squared plus 5 subtracted and subtract 3. So um, we can't solve that until we're given the information of what b is. And so here it is. Psst, the secret is that b equals 4. So we'll plug it in before we play the math. So we have 4 to the second power plus 5 in parentheses minus 3. And now I just use my order of operations. Parentheses first. Okay. In the parentheses I have an exponent and an addition. Two operations. Between these two operations exponents is required to go first. 4 times 4 is 16, add 5 to that is 21, cross off what you did, bring down what you didn't, and 21 subtract 3, borrow 8 and 1, is 18. And there's your answer. Not too shabby, huh? That's kind of easy, isn't it? Let's do some you do's. Okay, your turn. You're going to do um, the sum of x and 2 multiplied by 5, Psst, x equals 3. So plug in the 3 for x and then solve it using your knowledge of order of operations and see what you get. Make sure you push pause. When you've got an answer, push play so you can see if you did it right. Okay, you have an answer. So my first step is to do that plug in step. So now I know that x is 3. I plug it all in. I bring down what I didn't do. Well, yeah, I just plugged in is all I did, and I bring down everything else. And now I just do order of operations. Parentheses have to go first. 3 plus 2 is 5. 
cross off what I did. I brought down what I didn't. And now all I have to do is 5 times 5, which is 25. There's the answer. Hopefully that's what you got. How about another you do? Okay, let's try another one. This is um, the difference between b and 3 to the second power plus 6. So, and that's what you're going to solve. Psst, the secret is that in this instance, b equals 9. Plug 9 in for b and do your order of operations. Push pause and push play when you have an answer. Okay, so my first step is to plug in for b. I'm going to put 9 instead because it said so here and bring down everything else so I can start playing. So now I'm on the play. Um, order of operations says parentheses first. 9 subtract 3 is 6. Cross off what I did. Bring down what I didn't. And there's no more parentheses. And so now I'm on exponents. There's an exponent there, 6 to the second power. That is the same as 6 times 6, which is 36. Cross off what I did. I brought down what I didn't. And then finally, 36 plus 6 is 12, 3, 42. 42 is hopefully the answer that you got. If this makes good sense to you as it is, um, go ahead and go get the closure questions and get those done and turn those into me. If you need to rewind this video to review any part of it, go ahead and do that. If that doesn't help and you're still lost, come see me for some help. I'll be happy to help you out.